Hi guys, how are you doing? As you can see, I'm here. I'm actually at my dad's. Um, so I'm gonna apologize now if the internet cuts out because he has awful internet. Um, but I'm here with Edith. This is Hi. my niece. <laughs> so I'm just gonna um, refresh my page here so that I can see all you guys. There we go. We'll see if you can tell me, Edith, if we can see them. Yeah. Can we see it yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> How are you guys? How's your week been? Are you all good? Um, oh, look. Gaga's watching from the other room. <laughs> That's not going to help the internet. That's not going to help the internet. Yeah, go tell him to stop that. <laughs> there it is. You see it? There we go. So that's the comments that come up there. So hi, Cheryl. And Cheryl says, hello, Edith. Say hi, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Good stuff. How are you guys all? This is our last uh, lockdown live tutorial um, that we're doing on Facebook. <laughs> is that Gaga? <laughs> Um, thank you so, so much. There is there is literally nothing else I can say other than thank you before I start crying. Um, just to say you have been amazing at supporting Artifarty Retreat and doing all of these tutorials and doing these kind of mental things that I get you guys all to do. Um, yeah, it's been really awesome. So thank you so much. But for those of you who are new joining us, do have a look back um, over at our Facebook videos and our YouTube uh, videos as well. I think only about half of them are on YouTube at the moment, but the rest will be up when, when I get round to it. Um, so you can follow them all there. Um, who else have we got? Oh, Juliana. Oh, Valentina. Hello. Nice of you to join us. It's somebody new. Somebody new? Somebody new. Right, let's put you guys up here so that I can see you and chat to you and use my hands at the same time. There we go. There we go. You can see both of us there. <laughs> what time we start? Oh, we're going to start in a second. Um, oh, Cheryl, bless you. Thank you for keeping us sane through lockdown, feeling all emotional. <laughs> Don't. So if you start crying, I'll start crying. Edith will start crying. Won't be good, will it? You <laughs> won't. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um, so, as you, it's actually a really good segue. Thanks, Cheryl. Feeling all emotional. Um, we are actually going to do an emotions wheel today because um, today as part of our kind of mixed media week we're doing creative therapy and I thought it would be a really nice way to end. Um, oh, thank you Sue, thank you for commenting, thank you for joining in as well, it's been amazing. So we have, hopefully you guys have got a plate, something around. So I've got a, a lovely plate here that we're going to draw around, aren't we, to make a big circle on our sheet of paper. Yeah. And then we're going to split the circle up into six pieces. Mm -hmm. So for me, because I always relate everything to food, it looks like a pizza with six slices or, um, oh, or a cake oh or, or a pie with six pieces. <laughs> um, who else have we got? Oh, bless you. Imogen. Oh, Imogen, you've been great at joining in as well. Ah, oh, hi Fabs and Isabella and Emily. Hello, hello, hello. Um, Fabs, awesome that you can join us. Awesome, awesome. So hopefully you've got your plate that you can draw around. Mine just fits on my piece of paper there. So I'm going to drop you guys down so that you can see what we're doing. Um, hopefully Ada's going to join in as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Awesome stuff. Um, my sister is also here. <laughs> <laughs> who got her hair dyed before I did the car. So, so she's got amazing pink hair. The colours in her hair is a fading. I know, it's fading, isn't it? All my blue's going, but I'll get it back soon. I'll get yeah. it back soon. <laughs> Imogen's just gone yummy. Because <laughs> I think it's going to look like a pizza. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to drop you guys down so you can see what we're doing. So hopefully, right. we just there we go. You can see You're going to get a pencil out. I need a felt tip, actually. Would you get me a felt tip, Edith? Just so that it shows up for the people watching. Awesome stuff. So all I'm going to do is just draw around my plate here. Um, would you like to do one for Edith, Rosie? I put that there. You, you can draw Edith? around there, or Edith can do your own. Can you draw around that? 
Pick a felt tip. Mommy too. Okay, pick you want mommy too. Do it. Okay, so with my big circle, I'm just going to go in half and please do not worry about getting these perfect or in the right shapes or anything like that. Please don't worry because I'm certainly not going to. So all I'm going to do is roughly mark where I think the I centre of that is. And then you've got a pink, I've got a blue. And then I'm going to split, oh it does, yeah, blue for my hair, pink for your mummy's hair, how's that? And then one there, so I've got six, see look, dodgy line, even with a ruler, even with a ruler, <laughs> terrible, absolutely terrible. Hi Veronica, oh bless you, no worries, nice to have you with us today. So, on our wheel of emotions, we're going to split it into six and we're going to have six different emotions in here. So pick your first piece of pie and write, well, you don't have to, but on the outside of it, I'm going to write scared. So Can when we talk about being scared, how does that look to you guys? Is it a particular colour? Um, does it look spiky if you were to see scared in front of you as an emotion would it be spiky would it be small would it be big would it take up the whole slice worried. of pizza worried yeah a bit like worried what does it look like what color is worried don't know don't know have a think have a think would it um would it be really soft yeah. and floaty um, what would it look like? It might be a, an image of an actual thing that you've got in your head. That's what I want you to put in that first piece of pie. So I'm going to drop you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. We've got some um, some chalks here and we've got some drawing pencils. And what have you got, Edith? Fat tips? <laughs> oh, bless me. Sorry. Sneeze it away. Okay. So for my scared. That's what I'm doing, drawing. Oh, yeah. I'm not writing. Look. You see? So this is my this is my scared. But I can't no, I can't do that one. Oh you don't have to. Oh, I can you do don't have to do the, the scared writing at the top. No. Okay. You don't have to. So this is my scared. So I always see it as kind of I don't know, some no, kind of like tendrils. And I always see them as being a little I've bit a too. little bit smoky. I've done scared too. Awesome. What colour is it? What colour is your scared? You show mine me. Mine is pink. Yours is pink. Ooh. Oh, mine's kind of a little smoky. It's more like sort of fog, I think, Don't my scared. That's what mine is. So I've gone for a very simple one today. And look, I love using chalks. Nice and messy. <laughs> Which is fab. Um, so there's my scared. Yeah, what does it look like, Edith? Oh, I can't wait to see yours. Um, so hopefully you guys have done okay with that. <laughs> So the next one we're going to do over here. It feels like a question. Feels like a question. Feels like a question. Ooh. Oh, question mark. Like That's a question good. mark. Can I hold yours up, Edith? Is that okay? Can I show everyone? Mm-hmm. Yeah? So, so this, this is, is a what? question mark. It's like a question mark. Scared is like a question mark. I love that. So in the next segment, you're going to write angry. So when you think of anger and being angry, what colour is it? What does it look like? Um, is it big and explosive? Or is it just like bubbling underneath the surface? Um, if you were to give it a shape, what kind of shape would it be? So that's the next uh, piece of your pie as such. So I'm going to drop you guys down so you can see. So there's my scared, um, angry. May I use felt tip? Is that okay? Yeah. Thanks. I wasn't using a felt tip. I was oh. using the pink one. Oh, okay. No worries. So my angry is very explosive. And look, it almost comes out of the out of the piece of pie segment. It's very explosive, my anger. Doesn't happen often, but when it does, <laughs> it explodes. And I think I'm going It does not happen all the time. Look, I'm getting grassed up by my family now. It's a good job this is the last one, isn't it? Um, <laughs> So there we go, so I'm gonna get a nice kind of black background as well. So I always feel really, that's my guilt, I think, because I always feel really guilty after I get angry. If you're angry, you feel pink. So what's yours? Can I, sh can I show yours? Yeah? 
So there you go, that's Edith. So yours is a little bit like mine, Edith, isn't it? It's a little bit explosive. Yeah, you do take after Auntie Mel, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I like yours, it's all black. It is black, yeah. It's like, it's in the black sky and it's all dark and it's night time. Ah, it's like it's night time. I like that. Yeah, it's kind Can of... Show them now? That's my guilt, I think. Oh, you that one. Them, <laughs> I did show them, I did show them. So the next one, it I want you to think of being proud I'm so when happy. you're proud of something we're gonna get there when you're proud of something no, what does it look like what color is it i kind of like for pride and feeling proud of an achievement or proud of something you've done i always feel like this kind of it's almost rising like for me it doesn't sit still it's this kind of rising thing that ever expanding um what color does it look like does it have a shape um, is it a still shape, unlike mine? Or is it an image that's popped into your head of like maybe a trophy or something like that? Um, what does proud look like to you? So I'm going to drop you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. I've done a little... We've, we've done happy. You've done happy on yours. We've done awesome. a face. You've done I a happy face. face. <gasps> I am going to do happy next, so you're well ahead of the game there, Edith. Hey, what did you do? <laughs> this one's proud. This one's proud. So what are you doing for proud? So for proud, Edith, <laughs> she makes such a good interviewer. <laughs> um, for proud, I'm doing this kind of beaming sort of light where it kind of fills you up, where you feel really proud of what you've done. So it kind of gets bigger and I bigger. Want to do proud. Yeah, you can do proud. You do proud. Well, if you've already done happy, you do proud while I do happy. Yeah. Cool. So, guys, your next piece of pie is going to be happy. So, what colour does it look like when you're happy? How does it feel? If you were to see it in front of you, if you were to see happiness in front of you, what, what shape would it be? Would it take up the whole uh, piece of pie? Or slice of pizza? Or would it, um, would it be quite kind of small and... Um, like, like a trickle. Like what would it look like? What would it look like? So I'm going to drop you guys down so you can see. There we go. So this is my happy one over here. I'm going to show yours to the guys in a minute, Edith, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you you keep going though. That's fine. Yes. Might use one of those. There you go. Use the chalks. We like using chalks. They're nice and tactile to use, and they make a nice mess. <laughs> so for me. That happiness has a bit of a calm center to it. And as I say, if, you, if you're really struggling to think of this kind of abstract kind of shape and color in terms of emotions, don't worry, it could just be a, an image that you've got in a head. So Edith has got for happiness, a lovely smiley face. But for me, I think happiness is definitely pink. Not that it's by any means hey, my favorite color. This is my happiness. Wow. I know. <laughs> so this has always got a little bit of calm in it, I think, my happiness. It's always that contented, just floaty sort of feeling, um, which the chalks are great for, for look, portraying there. Look what I've done for fun. Wow. Can I, can I show them? Is that okay? Awesome. So this is Edith's happiness, and this is Edith's proud. So proud for you is purple. Loving it, loving the purple. It's a gorgeous colour. Fantastic. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> I'm glad you've made it too. You've made the last one. Um, we are doing, for those that have just joining, a wheel of emotions. So we've got two more slices of pizza left. So the next one, as we've just done happy, the next one is sad. So when you're sad, <laughs> so when you're sad, what does it look like? What colour? The next one's going to be really cool. Um, what mm, colour no. would it be? What kind of shape would it be? Um, <laughs> does it take up? Does it take up the whole of the yes, slice no. of pie? It doesn't have to. You don't like so I'm going to drop you down because mine doesn't. My sadness does not take up the whole thing. So mine is more like this. Well, we don't know what's going to do with this So. We're gonna put a couple of waves in there. Um, and mine kind of feels like this. This is my sadness. Kind of I I want to do that along. one. What's the other one? She, she doesn't like sad. 
You don't like sad. I don't I like sad do either. That. I want to do sad at the end. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So there we go. So it's got a couple of waves in so and it's just kind of trickling along there because sadness for me is this kind of no. constant movement um, of just so feeling really horrible and sad, really. What's the next and it's definitely one? blue for me, sadness. I know so some people see blue as a happy colour. So the next one, darling, the next one is excited yeah yeah <laughs> so again what does excited look for you what kind of materials would you use for excited you're gonna wait for mine what materials might you use will you use something that's kind of big and bold or a bit more floaty um something that's a bit softer what will you use for excited um, and what colours as well? What colour is excited to you? I'm going to drop these down so you can see mine and then hopefully Edith will do hers too. So my excited, I'm going to use pencils because I think on here particularly, I think they can be quite nice and big and bold. My excited is like this. Firework. Almost like a firework, yeah. And it's it kind is of, a firework. It is a firework. Sure. It's kind of several bursts. What's your excited? Think about when you saw Auntie Nell today, how excited you were then. Yeah. You were very excited. I had a lovely greeting from Edith from the uh, from the top of the driveway as I got out of the car. It was a huge scream, wasn't there? Big squeal. It was a excitement. big squeal. So I think that's my excited. It kind of like bursts out. Um, lots of different little, yeah, almost like fireworks, actually. I'm excited to see the flowers. You're excited to see flowers? Amazing. Love that. I will show I you, Edith, when she's done hers. Can I, can I show you? Is that okay? Why are you sad of waves? Well, I don't know. Well, sadness comes in waves, I think, for me. I, I, feel, a lot, I feel really I sad and then a little bit. One. You can do that one. I'm just going to show them your excited ones. Okay. 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 So Edith's excited one, I'm not sure if you can quite see that, there we go, is a flower, because she's excited about seeing the flowers. Loving that, absolutely loving that. Who's sad? Who's sad? sad? Go on then, last one. <laughs> oh, well, I talk. Excellent stuff. That's it, guys. That's our, that's our wheel of emotions. Um, and it can just be really useful to kind of think about the different layers of it. Um, so like I said, like with my happiness, I've actually got that kind of centre of calm in there. Um, so it can be a really useful exercise to do, especially if you're not quite sure how you are feeling. Um, and you can, you know, not quite put the words to it can be a really useful thing to do. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's our last ever. Have you done yours? Have you done your sadness? Ah. That's her sadness. <laughs> Do a sad face as well. <laughs> That's the sadness. Awesome stuff. Thank you, Edith. Thanks for joining me. What about happy face? <laughs> You've got chalk all over your face now as well. Excellent. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for joining me, guys. Um, do take a look at our online community if you've really enjoyed these art workshops. Um, our online community is... Uh, £120 for a year's worth and every week you get a 40 minute workshop um, and lots of other things besides so thank you so much no! trying to be so professional on the last day and then your family come along um anyway thank you so much guys for following and thank you to all of those who've donated and shared and shared their own artwork and commented on everything it's just been absolutely amazing um to support not just arty farty retreat and a small creative business during lockdown um but also the support that you guys have given me because believe me without having a kind of routine of seeing you guys at two o'clock every weekday um, and having something to plan for I probably would have been rocking in a corner <laughs> so thank you so so much I can't yeah I can't even express it do come along to the studio we open back up on the 1st of August with art in the park 
um, which is 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. on the Ridgeway Fields in Southborough. Uh, it's free, just pop along. And the rest of our workshops over the summer um, are on our website. There's quite a few that are sold out now. Um, so do message us before booking. And our autumn programme from September to November is going to be launched on the 1st of August. So there's loads to be excited about. Um, and just thank you for bringing creativity into your lives. Thank you very much. Yay! I will see you guys. See you guys soon. I'm sure I'll see you in person um, very, very soon, which will be lovely. See you guys soon. Bye.